Hi everyone and welcome to this week's book break. If you are joining us for the first week of Summer Library Club, you'll know this week's theme is gardening. So we have two fiction picks and one nonfiction book that relate to that theme, but these books make great reads any time of year. Our first suggestion is The Garden of Small Beginnings by Abby Waxman. In The Garden of Small Beginnings, main character Lillian is unexpectedly widowed at a young age with two children and is looking forward to eventually returning to a mundane and somewhat normal life. When she's sent to a gardening course for a work assignment, the last thing she expects to find is some happiness and hope. Abby Waxman excels at balancing heavier issues with laugh out loud humor in her writing. Despite dealing with loss, this book is a charming and moving read with witty dialogue and quirky characters. Though the book centers on Lillian's soul searching, the endearing supporting characters shine through with their own personalities and side stories. This is a good choice if you like heartwarming reads about women dealing with relatable life hurdles, but with a humorous tone. Waxman also has a new book coming out this month, so if you find you're hooked after reading this one, you can keep reading. We've got one for our nonfiction fans, American Eden by Victoria Johnson. For our history buffs, fans of science writing and gardeners alike, we'd like to introduce you to Dr. David Hasek, the visionary behind America's first botanical garden. Hasek was a true Renaissance man and makes for a fascinating subject. He was an avid botanist, a successful physician and lecturer, founder of countless cultural and charitable institutions, and was also the attending medic at the infamous duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Hasek's true passion, though, was developing his prized botanical collections, from exotic carnivorous plants to healing herbs and potential love potion ingredients. American Eden is not only a captivating biography of a brilliant but overlooked historical figure, but is also a portrait of the rivalries and growth of our early nation. Victoria Johnson weaves together botany, early medicine, and American history, and the story is studded with familiar characters, such as Thomas Jefferson and Washington Irving. Give this book a try if you like uncovering hidden gems from history. And finally, we have The Body in the Garden by Katherine Shellman. It all starts in the garden for Lily Adler, the lead of this new Regency era mystery series. Lily has reluctantly returned to London for the 1815 social season in the hopes of finding friendship and distraction as she mourns her beloved husband. As a widow, Lily has more freedom than the average young woman, and that suits her independent nature. After overhearing a blackmail attempt, she stumbles across a dead body in the garden at the first ball of the season. Lily teams up with the charming naval captain, Jack Hartley, a close friend of her late husband, to decipher the clues and unmask the murderer. Readers who appreciate rich detail in their historical fiction and Regency romances will find much to love here, and the milder content will appear to our cozy mystery fans. If you like the determined heroines of Reese Bowen and Tasha Alexander's series, or Sherry Thomas's Lady Sherlock mysteries, you'll want to add this amateur detective to your to-read list. Thanks for joining us for our quick book break. All of the titles I talked about today are available uh, to download. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.